Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. And today we have an overview and disassembly video on the Springfield Armory St. Edge ATC. Let's check it out. Springfield Armory has had the Saint series out for a couple years now, and honestly, I think they're a great bang for your buck AR. They've had very good reports on accuracy, reliability, and they're affordable. So fast forward to just last week when Springfield Armory announced the ATC. Well, let's just say it got mixed reviews. So what does the ATC actually stand for? Well, the ATC is Accurized Tactical Chassis. And that is exactly what makes this AR different from a standard AR platform. So the Accurize Tactical Chassis refers to the lower and the handguard being one piece. So when you take this gun apart, it resembles kind of a bolt action style. It has a chassis that the top barreled action goes into, and we'll show how that works here in just a little bit. A lot of people say, why, when they see this design, and playing devil's advocate, why not? This isn't a CQB style AR. This is designed to be sat at a bench, laid down prone, put in a tripod, and be an accurate semi-auto 223. The thought that Springfield put into this was that even though free float handguards are technically free float, they're also not 100%. You have the tension of the handguard on the barrel nut, which may or may not put a little bit of tension on the barrel inside of the upper. So what they did was design the handguard and the lower being one monolithic piece. The reasoning behind this was to keep all pressure off the barrel and make it truly 100% free float. The ATC that I have here is the standard version. There is also an elite version, which comes fully FDE, has the B5 precision stock and a LaRue trigger. The standard version comes with a regular B5 stock, grip, and a Springfield Armory flat face trigger. So you may ask, how does it work and how do you disassemble and reassemble? So that's what we're going to go over now. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure the firearm is completely unloaded. And don't you worry, I did that right before I started the video. So as you look at the bottom of the rifle, you'll notice there is a hole. There is a set screw inside this hole, which tightens the upper of the handguard to the lower part of the handguard. So what we're going to do is loosen that set screw and then back towards the rear, you're going to see a button style takedown, I guess you can call it. Now, at first this was very tight. So you may have to try to get um, some padded pliers or something on that to break it loose. And then after that, you can get it by hand. So as you pull this down, you can push the top part of the handguard towards the front and slide it off. After that, it's just like taking a standard AR apart. You're going to push the front and rear takedown pins out. They may be a little tight, um, so grab you a punch or a Allen key or something like that and push those from left to right. So as we look at the chassis, you're gonna see that lock-in detent style that's right in front of the magwell. Then that front set screw has a plastic end on it so you can tighten it to the upper part of the handguard without damaging it. That set screw is what tightens it down. So if it seems like that top piece is loose, go to that set screw, tighten it down, and it'll tighten everything up. So for reassembly, we're just going to work backwards. Take your upper, put it in the chassis, and then you will push those takedown pins back in. Next, we're going to slide the upper part of the handguard on. The upper part has some tabs machined on it, so you'll know how to line it up. It'll slide through those grooves, pull that detent down, and you'll feel it snap in. After that, you will notice that the upper part is loose to the lower, so you're going to go to that set screw and tighten it down. I tightened it pretty tight, but you don't wanna go crazy with it. 
it does have that plastic tip so you're not going to damage it but it doesn't need to be you know gorilla tightened down or anything so now that we've looked at disassembly reassembly and everything in between on the atc well what's my opinion my personal opinion is i think it's cool it's not revolutionary it's not completely changing the game but it's different now we're not able to shoot this firearm and truly see what the accuracy is but i think as more and more of these are shipped we're going to see if it's true that this monolithic design makes it more accurate than your standard ar i think they did a good job going around that atc design with an 18 inch one and seven twist barrel you can get the upgraded trigger and the elite and then also the precision stock for a bench or prone rifle something that you want to touch out at further distances and really get accurate with i think it's a cool design i think it's a cool rifle it's heavy you know it's kind of cumbersome but that's okay that's not what it's used for it's used for laying down prone getting on a bench being able to shoot four five six seven eight hundred plus yards and be very accurate with it if you guys have any questions or want to just leave a comment below to discuss the atc go ahead and do that now as always make sure to hit that subscribe button and check us out at midwestgunworks.com